Okay, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's continue the world quest, the big world quest, series of world quest, the Dirge of Bilkes. The previous one, we, are, we did the first part with a really long name, I forgot already. This time, we're gonna do the temple where sand flows like tears. So, after you rested with um, Jet at her camp, also you can get inside and uh, collect these things if you want. By the way, um, just to follow the mission, it will guide you at the Temples Forsaken. So if you already unlocked the teleport point, just go there. If you did unlock, just walk there and unlock it. That's why instead of um, in, uh, unlocking the teleport waypoints before doing the world quest, you can uh, do both together, because it's basically literally on the path of doing it. Okay, here we go. Just navigate the mission and keep following it. And just ignore every puzzle and we just keep following the world quest. We're gonna do the, all the puzzles uh, just uh, later in the separated video, okay? Because first of all we need to unlock uh, all the new map, which is uh, binded, uh, mainly bended with the world quest, so yeah. So there will be a new mechanic, um, new puzzles type, basically just this, you can see this uh, blue air flow, right? You have to point it toward this sensor with these particles by hitting it, so in this case three times. It will, uh, yeah, just uh, do like this, and you can activate the machine. Now let's just go inside. And we will be able to reach this temple, this ruin. Here, pay attention, guys. Pay attention to my steps because uh, actually it's pretty easy. I just follow me. Uh, start this machine. It will turn on this one. Okay, touch it. Start. And uh, this time we're gonna have um, to explore. This area, basically. How to do this? On the only working pillar, you have to rotate it, pointing toward that place, that door first. So the sand pillar will be gone, and then you can point it again to the pyramid in the center. Now, once you unlock this device, activate it to open the door. And get inside. Now, here. Just uh, trigger this lever. Open this small window. Ah no, wait, never mind. This is a chest. Go close it. Mm -hmm. This is just a chest. Just don't care about it. Uh, just to keep progress in the room. You will see another device to open the next door and get out. Here you will find a hidden teleport waypoint. The first one, which is here. Just activate it. And now you have to activate that next pillar. So, how to do this? Watching toward the statue, the big statue, the chest, on your right side, so go from here, you will see this room with this thingy. Now rotate this one to the behind it, to make it disappear with the sand pillar, open the window, and then rotate it again, two times. So the sand pillar on that um, main machine will be gone. Now just to go this time, rotate this one. Start and get inside. You can activate it. Okay. Now go back into this small room, activate the device, get inside the next room. And here we have to rotate this um, device two times. Pointing this send pillar and start it. You will reach this point. What you have to do is just to go bottom side. You just have to go downside. 
into this place. Okay. Keep follow the tunnel. Looks big and complicated, guys, the new underground point parts, but uh, yeah, trust me, it's really simple. Here, follow the stairs, to go upstairs. Okay, let's don't care about enemies. Get out. I mean, get in the, into this new room. On your left side. And I just rotated this one twice. One, two. Open. We will be back into the big room. And this time, we have two working pillars. Let's go to the second one. And use it to remove the um, another sand uh, pillars on of the pyramid. Nice. After we removed, you, we needed to explore the next room, which is here. Just to press on navigator of the world crest and rotate again this one, pointing toward that door to remove the sand pillar, then point it again to the pyramid. I mean, this step is unnecessary, but just do it. Okay. Next room. Just come in. Now we have this device which we can move. So, just to move it. And rotate it. One, two, three. Activate. And get inside. Now, from here again, move first. Uh, no, never mind. This is just a chest, so let's not care about it. Activate this one and into another same room with another hidden teleport waypoint. Again, watch toward the big statue. Go on your room on the right side first. Enemy. Okay. So let's go into this room. Hit it once, and then move it back. Activate the lever. Open the window, and hit it twice again. So we removed the sand on that uh, machine. Now let's uh, just move this one. We don't need to hit it. Get inside and use the machine. Same, this door will be closed. Now we can go into this one. Now hit this one once and move it. Start. Okay, this is our next room without anything special, so just to go down. Okay, we follow the pointing. Okay. upstairs here just open this door and we are back at the big room with the pyramid only one room remain but first oops Go here. Hit it once. And now we have to hit it twice again to remove the sand pillar on the last door. Activate it. And we are finally here. Now. 
in this room, let me kill enemies first. Okay. From this room, we will see this um, bigger place. We cannot uh, access. We need to use this device. So just uh, rotate it. No. Yeah. Rotate it. Uh, let me move it. Okay. Then open this one and go inside. Okay. Here. And we're gonna see this puzzle. Now, on the only one working. Remove this one pillar first. Open the window there. Then move it. And hit it twice again. One. Two. Okay. Now move this one. And point it toward the red one. Remove the sand. In the end. Attack two times this one and move it forward. A really simple puzzle. Here we go in the big room with a teleport waypoint as well, so if you want, just activate it. Okay. Now, what to do here? Go upstairs. And turn this one two times. As you can see. And now, start to make this one disappear. And jump down. There is a Dendroplus. If you want to follow with my guide, so after all the world quest, then don't pick it. If you yeah, if you want, you can just pick it up already. Anyways, now start this one. The barrel will disappear, and we can come out. This one will become functional. Hit it twice, and hit this machine to unlock this new door. Get inside. Go on your right side. Right side again. Hit it twice, this one. And move it. Start. And we can get out. Here we go. Let's go to the last one. Last um, vent and point it toward our pyramid. Here we go. Now we have to touch the device to activate it. And they will say that something is happening. Oh, there's a chest if you want, the downside there. It's a luxurious one, but if you can, just wait for my chest guide, so we're gonna collect every single chest. Now, let's get out from here. We will notice that the sand outside is disappeared, actually retreated, revealing a um, really big place. As you can see, the world quest is still not finished. We have to keep a progress. Now, bottom side, you will see this place, but let's don't care about it because for now we don't need this one. But we need to keep a progress. So just to navigate. Okay, here. Prepare to fight because we need to kill this one. And after you defeated, trigger this device to get inside. Once you're inside, the others still will light up. Go deeper. Keep go deeper. And you will discover this place with a really really cool tree check the shining object no
Here we go. After defeated, let's go check the object. Touch it. I'll touch it, the tree will um, dry. I, I don't think it's dying, but uh, yeah. Just I lost the color, the green color. We'll also open a new tunnel to reach our new area. By the way, the tree will become like this. No green anymore in this area. Okay, we're gonna discover Ginny in the magic bottle. Uh, yeah, it's just a new gadget you can equip. Actually, uh, actually better if you equip because uh, in the new sandstorm area, this is pretty useful. And um, yeah, the here will spawn a chest, but I will keep it for the future guides. So, um, if you equip, uh, yeah, this little bottle will follow you. Anyways, let's keep follow the mission. The world quest is still not finished. This one is pretty long. Here, watch top side, you will see a star, just keep uh, it to it. Okay, now let's just keep follow. I'm some enemies will come, just to kill them. And keep follow. You will also encounter a really, really cute uh, new type of mob enemy, Aramid. <laughs> Why enemy so... Cool recently, the maze one. Anyways, yeah, just uh, you have to go this area above you. So just to climb here. If you don't want, you can tip it to here and then fly to there. Get up. After you kill them, just um, investigate on this yellow point to discover a letter. Now, just to keep follow the road, you can use the teleport waypoint. I mean, not the teleport waypoint, this flashing thing is. Um, if you go up more above, you will be able to just unlock this teleport waypoint. Same as before, once you can get out from the temple, if you walk a bit, you, you will be able to unlock this one. So just do it. Okay, after you kill that next camp, there is another letter. Just investigate. Now, to get to the teleport waypoint, you can just fly to the top. Say so how to reach that point. There is a star as well, but if you have a bow character, you can just shoot at it to break it so you can teleport to there. If you don't have... Uh, yeah, don't be lazy, just to bring a bow character. Shoot it. And you can teleport to here. Then... Uh, Stay here, watch on top side, teleport to this one, fly a bit, and teleport to that one. And then, teleport waypoint is just upstairs here. Nice. Now, let's go, yeah, let's progress with the mission, reward the rest. Investigate. So, Derfi is a traitor. Hmm. And in the end we come to this place. It will ask you to go back to the Tanit camp, but before doing that, uh, I advise you to unlock this teleport waypoint here first. Just a TP here, and walk a bit. Once you unlock this one, we can teleport back to the state of the seven at the Tanit camp. Jump down, and talk to this beautiful lady again. Now let's talk to Azorik and Jet. We almost finished this world quest. And guys, um, at the end of this dialogue, a really long dialogue, you can watch it for the lore, um, Azorik will ask you to, to play a game of cards. This is the only occasion you can um, play with him. If you don't choose it now, you will never be able to play with him anymore. So... Yeah, if you want, uh, you just play. If you don't want, if you don't like the card game, this TCG game, just uh, click sorry, I don't mind in the bullet. Alright, victory. Pretty easy to win, to be honest. Okay, after you win, just talk to Jet and uh, Azarek again. 
And finally we finished the second part. So for this part is all, also the video will be hours long, too long. Hope, um, hope it helped you to finish this world quest, this part of a world quest. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!